Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Stu, and this is Crumbly Creek for Roller Coaster Tycoon Classic. This scenario was suggested to me by Alec. Thank you very much, Alec. Um, if you'd like to suggest a scenario that you'd like me to play, pop it in the comments and I'll have a look. Uh, this collage of natural waterways was once the place for a thought. I don't know what that's meant to say. Thriving theme park. Unfortunately, the park went bankrupt and you were left with a heavily deteriorated rides. Repay the loan and fix the rides made by Blazing Empire HD. Your objective to repay the loan and achieve a park value of at least 333000 So I know Blazing Empire HD off Discord and he is probably the most prolific scenario creator for RCT. On RCT Go, he has got probably hundreds and hundreds of scenarios. Um, the reason I haven't done any so far is just because where do you start, you know? Anyway so clearly this is one of the fixer upper style parks now alex did also say that i can't advertise or delete any of the rights okay so where is the entrance let's go over to the entrance there okay so whilst i can't delete the rights I am going to move some of the entrance and, ent and exit buildings if I need to. Okay, so we've got 17,500 and a loan of 130,000 and 23% interest per year. So that's going to be the immediate problem is the interest rate. And we're charging for admission. So what we need to do is we need to get it so that we're earning more from the gate than we that is the ticket prices than we are paying in interest if we can't do that then we're going to hemorrhage so much cash that we are we're not going to be able to do it so we've already got i can see a guest in the park it says we've got one guest it's dwight just there who has a nice amount of cash um spent one pound so that tells me it's set to a pound to come in so he would have started off with 70 pounds to come in so we know that we should be able to ram the price up to at least 40 and most guests will pay that they will have enough money to pay that providing i've got enough rides already built so what i like to do with these pay entry parks is i like to put the price up to about 40 to start with and then build the rides and if the guests aren't prepared to pay, that's fine because eventually they will. And I don't want them in the park at a lower rate, if that makes sense, because I want to maximize the amount of money I make from them. So, well, that's cool. We've got kind of like um, a single island that we can start off with. Um, so let's see what rides we have. A um, couple of transport rides. Um, not a bad selection of gentle rides um decent selection of coasters to begin with a thrill ride a water ride um the log flumes are good um we're gonna earn some cash off them one thing we are gonna need to do as well because we're not earning money from rides we're gonna have to have rides with photo sections because that will earn us a bit of extra cash what about shops oh, we've got a kiosk that's great. We can do umbrellas for twenty pounds. That'll be great. Um, cash point and toilets and plenty of food and drink options. So, to begin with, what I'm going to do then? I'm going to delete the paths, um, just around here, and then I'm going to start putting down as many flat rides as I can without it being too overbearing. One thing I want to do with this is I I don't want to make it too gimmicky. I want to try and make a decent looking park um so i'm not going to be spamming loads of rides um not any more than looks than looks sort of that that makes it look ridiculous um so yeah but i'm going to be using pause a lot so what that means is i'm going to have it on pause and then the only time i'm going to unpause it is when the game automatically unpauses it when i'm putting down a new ride then i'm immediately going to pause it again so I can alter all the settings and things like that. Similar thing happens with the paths. I'll pause it. As soon as I start building paths, it's going to unpause. 
or delete paths is going to unpause. That way I should be able to get as many rides down as I can within the first couple of weeks at least. 8th of March and I'm constantly getting bombarded with these messages saying that the rides are broken down. We do have rides already in the park. We've got the merry-go-round. I've placed the, the Ferris wheel. Um, there's another Ferris wheel just over here. A twister just down there. Wooden coaster, a looping coaster and a corkscrew and they're all broken and deteriorated and things like that now all of them were set to have the ride inspection time of never so that's available in the options that's why they've all broken down in order for me to move the exit ride i need to have it fixed first then i can move it because where that exit is there that's a perfect spot for an information kiosk and i do want to maximize the umbrella cache with this one one thing i did forget to mention was that the research is all set to no funding so if that was selected onto something i would send it to no funding because we've got enough rights to begin with and we don't need to be having any unnecessary outgoings and we're already going to be paying off enough on loan interest so what we need to do with this because he's already answering a radio call so let's see what that is Oh, there you go. Just down to that. If it's if he's answering a call to another ride, what you can do, you click on the mechanic, and then you pick him up with the tweezers. Now he can't, you can't do it at the moment because he's actually inside the ride. Pick him up with the tweezers, place him somewhere else, and it'll reset the ride that he's heading to, and then hopefully he will eventually pick up the ride that's broken. So once this is fixed, we can move the exit and we can crack on building the other rides. 13th of March then, we've still got a lot of rides that are broken down. Those are the ones that are elsewhere in the park. So what I'm going to do with these to save me getting those messages is I'll just make sure that there's at least a tile by the exit of them. I'll move the mechanic over to those tiles and then I'll, I'll leave him hopefully fix them if not i'll do the tweezer trick put him back down eventually you'll be able to fix them all and then um, we won't get all those messages but anyway 13 days in and i've built all of these rides and shops already um thanks to using pause because you only need to build the things on pause uh, when it's unpaused you can do all the settings and things like that when it's unpaused things like changing the money on these to win the ride settings and things like that the the inspection times all of those things you can do um when it's unpaused changing the the color of the umbrellas for example um one thing i did notice with the mini golf now i've got five mini golfs pre-built just a single hole there already built um, so one thing I did notice, and I didn't realize the mini golf had this or didn't have this for that matter. I thought it was only the uh, maze and the, the the crooked house, but it doesn't have a maintenance mode, which means it doesn't break down. We can use that to our advantage, perhaps in the future, um, but for now we won't. Um, so we haven't got any guests coming in just yet, but it is still early on. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to start deleting the paths throughout the rest of the park and any little bits of, of scenery like the fences and things like that. Um, hopefully by the time I've done that, we should start seeing guests coming in so we know if we're going to have a decent run of it or not. Right, April year one, guests are streaming into the park they're paying 40 pound a go look at that loan interest 3649 so we need to be earning more than that each month and then we can at least break even and then anything else is a bonus um so we're going to start building some cheap and cheerful coasters now i'm not planning on spamming the park with my cheap and cheerful designs i'm going to put a couple down a few more maybe but that'll probably be it hopefully by then we'll have enough cash um i think what i'm going to do now i've 
gotten rid of the paths. I'm gonna oh it's still a still a, a, a queue line to delete there. Um I think I'm gonna start putting down some some basic scenery. Um and hopefully by then the guests will really start to come in. Um because we need to know where what the limit is, how many guests are gonna come in with this much this amount of rides. July year one Park entrance ticket 7,440, loan interest 3,649. So we're taking twice as much on the gate as we are paying out on loan interest. We're also getting a decent boost on the shop sales as well with 1,000. That will be from umbrellas, but you know, if it only rains once every couple of months, that'll be a massive bonus for us. October year one, and we're taking in decent cash every month still paying out a lot from the loan interest we're not going to be paying that down just yet so i've put some scenery down some simple fences and things like that um we've got a nice little shuttle loop there shuttle island because you know i wasn't too fast on the film but you know it's a it's a nice pun and these two because of how tight money was we were literally making cutbacks. Cutbacks. Because money was tight. Cut backs. Yeah. Okay, so we got a bridge then. A little bit of scenery going across to here. Log flume. Guests love the log flume. Decent stats. Um, we've got a four door section on there. Four door sections all set to three pounds. We'll make a decent profit off that you can see that they're paying to come out of that um log is also good for the for the park value as well um because we do have to do that at some point we need 333,000. and uh, we've got 245 so that is going to go down a little bit as the rides depreciate over time but it's not a high goal so that's fine um yeah so we are going to just continue to expand down um we are starting to hit the point where we aren't getting as many guests in as we really need so this might be where we do the the mini golf trick so let me show you what that is and you can do it with the crooked house and also the maze as well we'll delete that we'll raise that up there we'll switch into underground view remove land surface oh that guest just fell off let's just click on this let's click on uh guests on the ride this one is on the ride this one is on the ride get rid of that window press pause let's see oh well done andre and they leave the ride and they fall and then what happens they disappear vanished it's like they've just left the park and the same thing for megan vanished now i haven't killed them we don't suffer any ratings negativity for that what happens is it effectively just removes them from the park and then because the game thinks right you've got this many rides in the park your rating is this much i need to pump guests into the park at this rate i need to spawn guests at this rate and when it hits that rate when you've got that many guests in the park it's, it slows down the amount it spawns so when guests leave the game pumps another guest in And you'll see them come in in here. So when guests disappear, they will spawn another guest in. So I first found that out. Oh, it was years ago playing. I think it was in, is it Millennium Mines, and I built just after the gate. I think I built an upward path, and it was some sort of glitch, and guests were just falling into the void, and I didn't notice it for a, the first couple of years. But um, yeah. A great little little trick there. So we'll put a few more mini golfs down, I think. Maybe up the top or something like that. We want to do it somewhere where people don't really notice the guests are vanishing, you know. 
Um, yeah, that should help us out a little bit. Not too much. We don't want to go overboard, but um, it'll help us out a little bit. July year two, and we've finished researching thrill rides. I, sw I switched my research on the thrill rides when we were making more money on the gate than we were paying out on loan interest. So we've researched all the thrill rides. We're now researching shops and stalls. What have we got? We've got a decent selection of rides. We'll start putting them down. As we've got space, we've got three more mini golfs of death. Just oh, sorry, three more mini golfs of fast travel to the park exit. Against your will, just up there, we've got the path loop down here, and we've got my my sort of trademark loops. You know you're in a stew park when you see some of these. These are great stats. We've got um a photo section on them so we're making tons of cash and later on in the game we can increase the number of laps we can increase the speed we can do things like that in order to increase the stats and then that will also increase the park value as well we've got an enterprise down there looks like the log flume has broken down that's fine we are going to build a path across to here and then up and then we're going to connect back probably about there and then at some point we are going to continue building loops or path loops down here um yeah because we are going to need to start fixing these rides up as well but um yeah we're doing well with we're, we're making back the money um loan hundred twenty-four thousand there so we are going to start chipping away at that every now and then but um yeah at the moment i think we're doing really well got the green arrow so loads of guests coming in yeah and and do you know the park it looks pretty good as well it doesn't i'm not going overboard with the like spamming rides i think a park of this sort of size with this sort of financial issues would have some cheap and cheerful coasters like this um but eventually they would then expand and start building bigger and better rides and that is what we're going to do did i mention that we're now charging 60 pound a goal i don't think i did but i have now so yeah making tons of cash we're paying back the loan slowly but surely we've got a little bridge across to here we've done a path loop completing it down here added some extra shops oh what's this building well, let's, let's hide the scenery. Oh! Underground view. Hide land surface. Oh, no. We've, we've accidentally built three mazes of fast travel to the park exit against your will. Yeah. None of these guests are dying. Don't worry about that. Eventually, we are going to open them up properly so guests actually leave. And this building is just for decoration. It's not to hide what's going on. Um, anyway, anyway. So yeah, we, we're doing we're doing really well. Obviously, the fact that I've got a maze means that we are we have we were researching gentle rights until we unlock that. We've gone back to shops. Um, yeah, why is the log flume still broken down? I'm going to have to hire some more staff. Now that we're earning tons of cash, we are going to have to hire more staff. Um, and also expand down to this way because we need to start fixing up these rights. But um, yeah, we're doing really well. Park is looking good. The finances are looking good. Um, yeah, and um, the amount of guests that are disappearing from the park nobody seems to have noticed so it's all it's all good it's all good october year three and we have reopened the corkscrew it was called kaboom it's now called kaboomin decent stats on that that'll help us with the value goal cool and we've reopened the the spiral slide as well painted it out and we've got some merchandise stalls just down there t-shirts eh. i'm sure guests will 
start buying them. There we go, a couple of little bridges, little shops and seating areas just down there. And we've reopened Railgun, the looping coaster. Railgun Reborn. Decent stats on that. You can see how it runs in the in the outro for the video. We don't need to don't need to show it off just now, but um, yeah, we've rebuilt it pretty much as using all the pieces where they were. Some of them had to be moved slightly um, because the way they the way Blaze has, has done the scenario is that rather than just deleting bits and leaving the pieces as they were. He's then modified some of the pieces that were still standing in order to make them look like they were sagging or falling down or whatever. So some cases we, we didn't have a choice, but um, yeah, doing well. So I think we're going to link up these two paths here and here. And we're also going to need to address the wooden coaster just over there. Park value 243,000. Not worried about that at all. We only need another 100,000. We'll do that easily. 333,000 is such a low goal that you only you can do it with mainly flat rides and a, and a couple of coasters. So we're not worried about that. The loan is down to 54,000. So that's helping because it's we're only paying 1,600, 2,000, whatever it is a month on loan interest. So that's cool. And we're earning way more. Look at that, 16,000 in on the gate. And a couple of months ago, we earned 4,000 on shop sales that's mainly umbrellas for that month but yeah we're doing really well and the park is looking cool as well october year four and we've finished off the wooden coaster just down there got the entrance queue line behind it exit queue line coming down and then it joins up with the exit of the twist and I've also added a go-kart ride as well that interacts. Let's have a look at the stats. Powder keg. So I've changed the name of that because I don't know the name that it was. Just in case YouTube, the, the, the AI of YouTube goes a bit crazy and decides it doesn't like the name. I don't know. Just thought it needed a new name. Um, but yeah, decent coaster, decent stats, go-karts, decent stats, interacts nicely um and the exits they all tie in with each other and then we've got let me hide the scenery we've got a load of merchandise stalls there as well so all the guests that go on these rides have to pass all these merchandise stalls so that's cool um and i renamed the the twist from fidget spinner i think i think that shows the sort of when this scenario was created they sort of guessed it was around the what was it when 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 fidget spinners sort of the craze what was that like 2018 something like that um yeah so more and then over here then we've reopened the ferris wheel with a nice path loop in between so now we've got tons of space to add decent rides and i'm starting building a river rapids just down there because we're unlocked we are researching water rides at the moment i am hoping for a um splash boats because they've got such huge capacity but we'll have to wait and see um but yeah now we've got such a good park you know oh look mini golf reopened just up there these mini golfs here there reopened properly and the maze reopened properly wait a second who dropped that bit of litter i'm not blaming anyone i'm not blaming anyone i'm sure one of the handymen will sort that out at some point how many have we got 27 we're gonna need to up that we're making so much cash we've got the loan down to a thousand the reason i put it down to a thousand is because the criteria of passing the scenario is you've got to have zero loan and a park value of 333,000. Now, if either of those two criteria are done, we won't pass. If both of them are, 
we will pass. Now, I can't do too much about the park value. As I'm building, it will go up. So I might accidentally go across the 333,000. But as long as I keep that 1,000 loan as it is, I'm not going to accidentally pass it. We'll pass it when we're ready to pass it. And for that, we need some bigger and better rides. October 5, and we are done. 2,500 guests in the park, but we're not worried about that. We've got a park value of 375,000, and we've got only 1,000 left on the loan. We can pass this anytime we want. So shall we do that? And then I can show you what we've done, just because otherwise I might finish telling you what we've done, and the park value might slip down. So let's just pass, and we've done it. Hooray! Stew! Awesome sauce. Dwight D's money supply. So we've got the River Rapids just over here. River Rush. Decent stats on that. We don't need to do anything all overboard. Good pun. Um, with these rides, with these sorts of scenarios, it's best to just, just build things quite quickly, you know? um and get like decent stats rather than spending your time getting like really high because i mean look how as you'll see now look how many rides i've built in this one year so we've got the river rapids just moving along we've got this fly in turns just there what are the stats parrot 294 oh so i've missed something on that um Hmm, I don't know. Maybe it's the drop height. Whatever, it doesn't matter. We'll just say it's a family coaster and um yeah. Fine. And then we've got a um inverted coaster just up here. Decent stats on that. It goes up, it goes down, it goes back up. There's a few inline twists, and then back to the station. Lots of sick. Let's get another let's there you go we'll stick a zone down on there now i've hired a ton of extra handy men i've or handy women handy persons um i've zoned some of them a lot of them i've just left free range so you know and then what else have we got what else oh yeah water coaster just down here so simple design let's check out the stats swamp rat decent stats it comes out it comes down a little splash you need to have a splash on a water water coaster otherwise it will penalize you on the stats and then it goes up s bend bend another s bend that way we're able to get them running alongside each other because i like there you go it happened i like the fact that it's coming i've done a similar design in the past I like the fact that there's some a boat coming down the same time as ones are going up i think in real life that would be super cool um probably don't want to try high five in each other because it might break your hands and then i also like the fact that because they're right alongside each other the splash zones are then as one boat is coming along really really slowly you're gonna every now and then obviously we saw one and now these ones aren't too near every now and then you're gonna get a boat that's coming up or coming down as it is on the screen towards the chain lift getting splashed by a boat coming down the long drop uh, and then uh, back along the path and then up the chain lift or whatever and, and back to that yeah so what else have we done we've made a couple of little changes to this we've um up the number of circuits on these and also because we can't up the number of circuits on these are in powered mode so what we have to do is switch it onto continuous circuit mode then we've flipped that over onto continuous circuits number four so what will happen is it'll go up and you can't make it so then it goes backwards and then eventually it'll pick up enough speed to do it if you've seen my cutback video you'll know all about it um so that gives higher stats higher stats means the park value um yeah that's i think that's pretty much it but you know what i think the park looks really good um 
because I've I've made the effort to make it look good. So yeah, thank you very much to Alex who suggest or Alec, sorry, for suggesting this scenario. Had a lot of fun. Very good. Quite challenging at the beginning. Um but you know we've got enough cheddar barking in the background. I don't know if you could hear it, the dog. Um obviously because I said barking. You know, what what else would I own that barks? Um still doing it, but you know, we have to forgive him. It is his birthday today. He's three years old. So we're not gonna sing a song. You can do that if you want to say happy birthday cheddar in the comments. Um you can do so. It's up to you. So, you know, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna ban it or anything, that's fine. So yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. If you've played a really good custom scenario that you think I should play, then pop it into the comments i think the number one thing i'm looking for is something that's fun to play i don't want something that's just um obnoxiously difficult because i mean you know we'll give it a go but i think something that looks good is going to be fun to play um something i can make a good video of is the key but um i think that about wraps it up for us um where is the entrance i've hidden it there there you go um yeah so without further ado this was crumbly creek scenario made by blazing empire hd he's got hundreds on rctgo.com um i'll pop a link to this one in the video description scenario was suggested by alec thank you very much thank you to everyone who watches and i'll see you on the next one Bye.